My name is Andreas. I'm an electrical engineering student here at Clark College. Uh, my project was on power factor correction. Uh, the purpose of my project was to make an induction motor run very efficient. Uh, by doing so, you have power factor, which is your phase shift between your current phase and your voltage phase. Uh, here we have an induction motor uh, with the capacitor. Uh, induction motors use uh, active and reactive power. Uh, when you pay your electricity bill, you pay for both of them. So in order to reduce reactive power, you add a capacitor in parallel with the inductor. Um, and that increases your power factor. So here, if we turn this motor on, and you look over to your oscilloscope, you can actually see your two phase shifts. You have your uh, blue phase, which is your current phase, and your yellow, which is your voltage phase. Uh, the closer you can get both of them, the closer you can get them together or overlapping each other, the better your power factor. So here, my Arduino can actually determine what the power factor is. It shows about a power factor of 95. Uh, when we increase the speed of the motor, you can actually see over here, the phases get closer together, which is a better power factor. Uh, ideally, you want to get a power factor of 1, but that's in an ideal situation. We all know that that doesn't work ever. <laughs> Um, uh, any future enhancements for this project would include having some sort of a uh, HMI, human interface, so you can display it all and maybe use a PLC and some more capacitors. So if you had different speeds for your, for your motor, you can include different capacitors so you always have a, power, a great power factor throughout the whole uh, process of that motor.